and their season isn't over yet as they've met another one of their goals for this season. With more on that, we join Alyssa Orange over at ACU's Teague Center. That's right, Eric. The team and fans all joined here at the Teague Center to find out their fate, to find out whether or not they were going to be a part of the 64 teams that were invited to the NCAA Division II tournament. And for the ninth time in program history, they are a part of that group of 64. It's their first time since the 2008-2009 season. And to talk more about that, we have head coach Julie Goodenough here to join us. And first off, just talk about the excitement that uh, that you felt when you saw Abilene Christian on that board. Well, it it, it was very exciting to see our name finally come up on the bracket. We've been a little bit anxious, a little bit nervous the last couple of days, just uh, real hopeful that we would have a chance to play in the tournament. So it was pretty exciting to see Abilene Christian come across the board. With such the uh, fulfilling season that you guys have already had, already accomplishing these goals that you set for yourselves, how much is this an exclamation point to the end of the season? Uh, it, it really is. I mean, we're excited about being in the national tournament. Uh, our goal was to win the conference championship and be able to represent ACU in the NCAA tournament. The last season, we have an opportunity to qualify for the Division II tournament. So it's it's pretty exciting. I'm really excited for our, our juniors and seniors. They've been the leaders for our team this year and have done a great job. And so uh, uh, we're excited about taking our show on the road and, and doing the very best job we can to represent Abilene Christian. And on top of that, it's exciting. You guys are playing UT Permian Basin, and it's a team you already know. 